Hi everyone, my name is Amber Benoit. I'm a seamstress and sewing teacher here in Rochester, New York. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to upcycle those old washcloths and make these cute little washing mitts. Aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh, my girls love these. Okay, so here's what you're going to need for the project. You're going to need two standard size washcloths. You're going to need some rulers and pins, all your normal standard sewing supplies. You're also going to need a piece of paper and a pencil so we can write out this pattern. So the basic size of this pattern is a six and a half by six and a half inch square. However, you might want to measure your little's hand if that's a possibility. It's a really fun way of getting them involved too. This is my younger daughter who is almost for her hand outline. Now she's a little bit big for her age, uh, but you can see how it fits snugly with inside that six and a half by six and a half. Uh, and I still have enough room around the sides to give her, uh, give this project a half an inch seam allowance. Now I've also rounded the corners and honestly I used a Mod Podge bottle to get those curves. They do have uh, curved rulers that you could do, but it's just as easy to find something curved around your house and use that in this situation. I've also added a fold hem down here. It's just a single fold hem of a half an inch uh, even though that's not required, especially if you have a serger to use on this project, it is nice and it makes it look a little bit more finished at the bottom. Now that you've got your pattern in place, you're going to want to lay out both pieces of fabric that you're using. So in this case, both of your washcloths. And then you're going to take your pattern and you're going to lay it on top of there and pin it. Now, if you have a finished washcloth that has these edges, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just put the bottom of your pattern right along the edge. It saves you the trouble of having to fold up the hem and actually sew it and it gives you a nice clean finish. It also saves the rest of this fabric so you can use that for extra things like maybe adding ears or in the case that I'm going to be doing is a unicorn horn. So you can make little things here to attach um, in the next step to your, your glove. Now that we've got both pieces cut out, what you're going to want to do is add in an overstitch all the way around. Now this one I, here I've done with a serger, but you could easily do a simple overcast stitch on your machine. That's going to keep the, the fabric from fraying because the materials that they use for, uh, for washcloths tend to fray, whether they're microfiber or cloth like this. And then at this point you can add any little elements you want to. Now, these are completely optional. Um, for this one, for one of my daughters, I'm making it a unicorn. So I've added in uh, some little eyes, just a little quick hand embroidery there. And then I used some of the material from the last one of these I made. I made little ears and a little unicorn horn. Try to stick with materials that are going to be fine going into the bathtub if you're going to add any of these little elements. Okay, so now putting them together, we always want the right sides touching. So I'm going to get my ears in place where I want them. And I'm going to make sure that they are coming off the sides here. Then I'm going to take my other piece and I'm going to turn it right side facing. And then we're going to pin and sew all the way around these edges. And then all you're going to be doing is turning it right side out. Now at this point, because we have this finished edge here, we could just leave it here. But I did want to show you guys really quick. Um, sorry, I got a lot of fuzzies on it. I, can, I wanted to show you guys really quick how to make that bottom hem at this point. So what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be folding in that bottom piece. And then you're just going to do a stitch all the way around. And as I put it through my machine, I like to put it with the needle here and I just kind of go in a circle all the way around the edge and I'll show you what that looks like. There you have it. You can see right here that nice pretty hem going around the bottom gives it a nice finished look and then it's ready for the bathtub. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want any more information about what I do or how I teach, go to sewingbyamber.com. I have sewing courses, virtual sewing lessons. There's a ton of great information there for you guys. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.